Hello, Real to Ideal Superstars. I want to share with you some very useful and clever Facebook tips because I believe in working fiercely, never frantically. And before I figured out some of these tricks, I would go nuts by the way Facebook sort of forces some things onto you, forces you to look at things a certain way, forces things to display a certain way, and it's enough to drive you crazy. And it takes you away from your real purpose of being on Facebook, which is to spread your message and let your light shine as brightly as possible so that you can stand out as the go-to expert in your field. And so this is part of my work fiercely tips. If you find these Facebook tips useful and you want more really cool tips and hacks like that, you can find them on my blog. It's They're actually tagged as the Work Fiercely Tips. I'm going to share that link with you in the comments under this video um, or in the description of this video. And you can find my blog anytime at www.realtoideal.com and just look up at that menu bar in the top and the word blog will be there. So let's dive in. Uh, one of the things that has always really frustrated me about Facebook, and I'm going to share my screen here so I can show it to you, is that anytime you use a image with your post, like this one here, if you click on to share, there, there's a few different ways you could share this, and I'm going to walk you through each of them just in case you actually are new to Facebook and you don't know how to do any of these things. And then we're going to get more advanced as we go for those of you who are Facebook pros but maybe don't know how to do this. The things I'm going to cover today are how to share a post, how to get the link, how to get a link to a post like this without it showing up in theater mode, because that's the one that really drives me crazy. Is I don't like theater mode because it highlights the image and it puts your text in the sidebar and it becomes kind of secondary. They even have ads under there and stuff. It's very frustrating. Um, if you are a service-based business, then your text is the important part of the message and that's the part that you want to be uh, highlighted. That's the part you want to be dominant in your post. If you're a product-based business, then it's great to have theater mode because the image probably is the thing that you want to be most important. But for us service-based businesses, it can be very frustrating. And then the third tip I'm going to share with you today is the Facebook debugging tool. And that relates to when you post a link to something, especially when it's your own website, you post a link in Facebook and it creates that preview of what you're going to see when you click through on that link. Sometimes that preview doesn't match the changes we've made to that page. And I'm going to show you how to fix that so that it's grabbing the most up-to-date information for that preview. So if those three things interest you, stay tuned and we'll walk you through each one, okay? So let's start with this. The two ways you can share a post is that if you're going to share it to, let's say, your own timeline, or you're going to share it in a group and you just want to share the entire post in the group so that it shows up on the timeline or in the feed of that group, then you can go ahead and use the share button. That's easy. You just click share, you wait for it to come up, you can use show all. If you want to, you can say something additional about this. Um, but once you click show all, it's actually going to show the content of that post. So you can go ahead and share this to your timeline, for example. Hit post, you're done. That's the way most people share. Um, but let's say, for example, you want to share this in a group where they have a thread specifically for sharing posts from your business page and you're only allowed to post in the comments of that thread. You can't just share it to their timeline. Then that's not going to work for you. What I, the, the share button's not gonna work in that situation. You have to be able to grab the link to that post. Or say, for example, you wanna show somebody who's not even using Facebook. You wanna like message them a link to it or share it in Facebook Messenger or uh, share it in an email or, or something like that. You wanna promote this post in other areas then you're gonna want the actual link, right? So what always frustrated me is that when you click on this date and time stamp, uh, that is the link to your post, but when it includes an image like this, a lot of the time it opens in theater mode. That's what you see here, that black background, and now the image is the dominant part. And if you look over to the right, 
you know, believe it or not, sometimes there's ads down here for other people's stuff. Not cool, right? It's like I'm trying to get my message across here. You're going to show ads to other people's stuff? Not okay. So uh, when your message is the important part, you don't want it to be over here smaller than your image, especially when you're using like a huge image, which, I, I mean, Let's, let's face it, this image is not important. It's just the background with some words on it. The important stuff is over here. So let's get out of theater mode. I'm going to show you two different ways you can get what I like to call normal post mode. And that's where you're going to see this post show up on its own page, but it's going to look just like this. So one way is you can click See More. So uh, I'm hovering over the link for see more and you can see down at the bottom of the page here it says facebook.com slash real to ideal slash posts slash and then a string of numbers that's what I call normal post page I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second when I hover over the time and date stamp I see a completely different URL down there and when I say URL, I mean URL that's the name for that link Right? So it says facebook.com slash real to ideal slash photos slash a string of numbers slash more numbers slash uh, question mark type equals three. And then that's what's going to open up theater mode. It's going to open up theater mode because it has the word photos in the URL. I don't want that because this photo is not, to me, not the most important thing. When I hover over see more, you can see it says Facebook.com slash real to ideal slash posts. That's what you want. So trick number one is click on uh, show more and you'll get that. Okay, so that wasn't the link, but I could have right clicked on that show more and I would have gotten it. The other trick, um, and I'll go back to show more in a second. The other trick is if there is a comment on this post already, you can use the existing comment. If there's not a comment on this post already, you can go ahead and leave a comment and it will work just the same. So you could leave the comment and delete it later if you wanted to. But if you look at this comment, when I hover over the timestamp for the comment, and I left this comment here just so I could help you with this. Now I see facebook.com slash real to ideal slash posts. Yay, posts, that's what we want, right? Slash that string of numbers. So when I click on this, you're going to see this is what I call normal post mode. So it's showing up on a page of its own. There's no other distractions other than these, these other things on the side. But there's no other posts on this. There's no theater mode, etc. And my text is the, the dominant part of this. The, the image is further down. So. Now, if I were just to use this link, it's going to bounce you down to here to the comments, and that's not what you want because, again, we just lost our content, right? So what you can do is delete everything, including the question mark, where it says question mark, comment, ID. You're going to delete everything after the question mark, including the question mark. So when I delete that, I get the URL for the normal post. Okay? See how that works? So now I'm on normal, what I call normal post mode. And that gives me that. So the first way you can do it is grab it out of the comment, right? And then you're going to delete everything after the question mark, including the question mark. And that's your link. So now I could just copy this link and I could share it in the comment section of someone's thread. Now then, let's see here. If I click on this, I get theater mode. Now then, uh, let's see here. Once you're in theater mode, you can't use the see more for that link like I was about to show you earlier. So once you're in theater mode, even the see more is still just going to be theater mode. But if I were to go back to the original page and scroll down to that post, Ooh, Zoom always slows my, my internet down. <laughs> Makes everything take longer to load. So once we get back to that post, there we go. All right. You can see that see more. If I were to right click on that, copy link address, and then 
paste it wherever, paste it in the address bar, paste it in your comments. We're going to get normal post code, normal post page. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. So now the second thing I want to teach you right now is when you leave a link like this, um, it's not showing up. Oh, that's funny. It's the wrong link. <laughs> I'm going to delete this now that we're done because that's not actually the right link. Delete that. So let's say I want to do part two. Here's part two to that same series. Okay. So this is, we're talking about the preview now. Part two is available. We'll say live. Is live now. Read it here. Okay. Let's see if that does the preview. There we go. Perfect. So, see this preview here? Sometimes when you create content on your site, you go in later and you change the image. Let's say you've rebranded and you want to change your images so that they are um, they match your new brand. Sometimes you change the headline afterwards. Sometimes you change the description. There's a, there's a bunch of different things that could happen with this preview. When Facebook is creating that preview for the first time, it is going to your site and doing what's called scraping. It's scraping your site to get that image and that headline and that description. The first time anyone enters that, at that URL into Facebook and it scrapes for that preview, it then saves it. It caches that preview so that if you go in and make some changes and then you try and post it again later, which I mean, let's face it, that happens a lot when we're testing things out, right? We're testing to see if something is looking good, landing, uh, resonating, converting. And then when we decide to tweak things so that it converts better and we come back here, we don't want to see that same image if we made changes to help it convert better. So the trick to that is the Facebook debug tool. So I have a post that describes that right here. And here is the link developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. So then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your, your link to whatever post it is that you're making changes to, and you're going to enter it in here and you're going to click debug. Now, as you can see, the time it was first scraped, don't even worry about this. This, this is not important to what you're doing right now. The time this was scraped was October 2nd at 1221 PM. Okay. So any changes I made since 1221 PM are not showing up in this preview. So if I did make a change to the image or the headline or the description, it's going to continue serving up this version unless I hit scrape again. If I hit scrape again, it's going to grab the most current information. So the current image, the current headline, and the current description. Now I haven't made any changes, which is why this looks exactly the same. But now we can see that it was scraped two seconds ago. So any changes that were made, it's now been updated. And when I go share that on Facebook, it's going to give the correct preview, including the new changes. So that's the debugging tool. You can go here and bookmark it anytime. Uh, developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. Um, if you forget where that is or you forget to go there or anything, uh, you can find it on my biz page. My business page is facebook.com slash real to ideal. And so you can find that tool here. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Uh, so if you found this helpful, I would love it if you left me a comment and let me know that you found this helpful. So drop a comment under this video. Let me know this was helpful. Uh, reactions are, are uh, welcomed and encouraged. If you would like more tips like this, I have a section of my blog called the Work Fiercely Tips. So you can go to realtoideal.com and just click on blog. It's up there. Uh, my window's in the way. So you can just click on blog. 
you could use the search function to find work fiercely tips. And it's just one of the tags that you can use to get to these different posts. So at the bottom of each post is the tags, and you can click on work fiercely tips and get that right there. So that's where I post all of my tips. Um, I'm going to be coming out with more and more of them because I get these questions a lot. So I want to be posting these more and more often. Uh, let's see here. That's it. So tune in because, like I said, I'm going to be posting more of these. Tune in to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash real to ideal. Like it to get notifications because I've got some amazing live streams coming up for you that are going to dive deep into how to find your ideal client, how to create content that converts so that you're attracting your ideal client, you're converting them into paying clients, and you are able to grow your business, triple your list, triple your income, et cetera. Uh, so like the Facebook page, shout out in the comments whether this was helpful to you. Use the comments to let me know if there's any topic in particular you would like more information about. Let me stop sharing here. And also for any of those that you, of you that are watching this, I think it's pretty obvious, but just in case it needs said, these are super innocent tips. They're not gonna get you banned from Facebook. Facebook's not gonna freeze your account. Facebook's not even gonna be mad that I'm sharing these with you. So super innocent white hat tips to help you uh, let your content shine on Facebook communicate in the best possible way to attract your ideal clients and let your message stand out in a noisy market. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and successful week. Bye.